hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new consider hitting the like button and subscribe i'm giving it to y'all in my car uh, i'm waiting to go into class but i just felt like to beat some time while i'm waiting <sighs> well giving y'all a little story time and it's about my terrible roommate story so Okay, so I was about 22, 23, and this was my friend at the time, at least, you know, and we decided that we wanted to move out. This was back in 2014, and so we was basically getting tired of staying with our parents, and we moved out, and let me remind you, this was really I was kind of nervous about moving out but I know I needed to I needed to because I was getting tired of being at home being up under my mother's roof so I was just like well why not take this opportunity to leave so me and my friend got approved for an apartment and it was a year lease and we both co-signed well we both signed and we moved out we moved out my mother felt some type of way about it and um i did what i had to do so being hard-headed i moved out okay so once i did that it was just starting to become bad after that like i picked up a job i was working i was working at this plant and i picked up a i picked up a weekend shift because i quit at my sam's club job because it wasn't paying me enough and um so i just started noticing some changes and my roommate she she worked but she worked at sam's club too okay i'm gonna get into that i just felt like the weekend shift wasn't paying me enough so i ended up switching to third shift and i really couldn't get the swing of everything so after that i ended up switching to a second shift and it was at the same company so me and my roommate we had fun but gosh i felt like i was working the most she later on ended up quitting her job because some incident happened she ended up picking up a car wash job i noticed we in the beginning we were struggling to pay rent but the rent got paid but i noticed like i started to pay the light bill i was paying the light bill and she was only giving me 20 dollars. i was noticing every time i come home the apartment would be just a mess and she had a child and there ain't nothing wrong with that but weeks at a time that apartment is still a mess and it was just way too much she would have people over i'd be getting off work or uh, the company did like a hey boo boo hey girl okay so back to my story so the um i what did i say okay anyways i decided that it was just starting to come bad after that and I just noticed that it should have guests over all the time. And it ain't nothing wrong because it's her apartment too. But I just noticed like, what are you doing? Why, why, why are you not getting money? And I, I, I'm the type of person that I just need my own space. Pretty much. I'm the only girl. So on my mama's side and my baby on both sides of my mom and my dad 
but I just like my own space and I just noticed our friendship was just starting to become bad and then later on um one of her friends moved in upstairs and I really didn't get along with her like that but I kept it cordial for her but I just noticed that my friend was just she was she wasn't she was starting not to become a friend I just noticed like every time it would I would have to pay the cable bill you wouldn't go half with me or you didn't go half with me with the light bill that girl upstairs one of her friends would come down there i always felt like i was being talked about she was kind of like a bully i don't want to say it like that but her energy was just too strong but i didn't stay in an apartment i only stayed like for six months and i it was just enough was enough because i I just noticed that I was putting in all the work as in paying my paying bills and it was just it was bad I, I couldn't do it so I looked for some apartments and I moved out oh let me tell you this though it was within them six months I decided that eventually I was gonna move our lease was up in I think January February no our lease was up in June of the following year and I just noticed that I wanted to move way before then. But I told her towards the end of that year, I was just like, look, listen, um, I'm thinking about moving out. Um, what are your plans? And she got mad at me. She had a little nasty little attitude. And then the next day, uh, she going to tell me, um, I know that you was trying to move out. Um and you could have just told me up front. You didn't have to beat around the bush and things. And I just couldn't take it anymore. So, further no, I went and got my shit. Because I stayed at my mama's house for a week. Went and got my shit. And I got approved for an apartment. So, I got my shit and I left. It was just other things built up within that friendship, but I just had to chuck the deuces up because enough was enough for me. And we didn't talk for like, I wanna say two years, about two years. And then I ran into her and we tried to mend our friendship, but those few months and it just it wasn't the same i felt like she hasn't changed as far as growth but i'm not gonna say i didn't have a good time within that friendship i did but i just felt like it wasn't true so therefore i'm telling y'all pick your friends wisely um when you're in your early 20s like you're not being as selective as you should and people People can drain your energy. And if you feel like you're unmotivated, not you're not motivated enough anymore, you're not focused anymore, your friend just throws you off track, then maybe you might need to just have fun with them sometimes. Or you feel like they talk about you or they just try to pick on you all the time. That's not a friend period and i feel like ever since that roommate thing because it really did it, it it in my early 20s like that did something to me like i felt like i couldn't trust i couldn't trust especially in friendships and it shouldn't even be like that but i'm 28 so now that i look back on everything i i felt like me moving out it was it was a risk taker but it was something that needed to be done and sometimes we go through things because, you know, it just helps you grow. It helps you see things at a different point of view than you didn't see back then. So, let me know. Um, go down into the comments 
write up under the comments and let me know your horrible if horrible roommate story like have you ever had a terrible roommate let me know so i hope to see y'all in my next video i'm gonna go to class and i'll see y'all in my next video bye